Hey there, Stampin' Friends. Welcome to Movie Monday with Jody Breckbill, Stampin' Queen. Here is today's project. We're going to make these adorable little mini milk carton treat holders for Valentine's Day. I gave these away as favors during my bingo class this past weekend, and um, this is a copy from uh, the internet somewhere. There was a video that posted, and um, I made them. I think it might be the Paper Pixie or pixie paper, something like that. So anyway, that's where I copied this from. But I wanted to show you real quick how to create them. So I took a piece of our Painted Love Designer Series paper, which is in our Occasions catalog, and it is three inches by six inches. Let me see if I can keep moving this down here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do some scoring, and I want to score it at one and three eighths two and three quarters. Oh, I lost my paper. Four and one eighth and five and a half. So that would be on the six inch side. So I have my six inch up at the top. I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna score them with my three inch at the top and do it at one inch. Okay, so then I'm gonna take some scissors, which I do not have with me, hold on. They're always within arm reach, but there's a little teeny piece right down here and we wanna nip that one off. Okay, so get rid of that guy. Then you wanna free up these bottom flaps. So I'm just gonna cut right up, straight up to that one inch line. And then we're just gonna make our folds nice and crisp. And you do need some and tape for this. I really like the tear and tape with this project because it stays um, folded. The, the, the snail adhesive just not quite quite strong enough. So there we have our little box. Now one thing I'm going to do is just snip these little edges off so I have a nice clean um, edge there. And I'm going to take some tear and tape and just put that and I want it to be, let me make that nice and straight there. I don't like that little piece sticking out. Right along the edge of that score line, okay? So I'm gonna do that there, and then when I flip this over, my second piece in is going to get some tear and tape as well. You can do one piece or two pieces, depending on how heavy the treat is that you're putting in it, just so that the bottom doesn't uh, pop open if you have something a little bit heavier. So that is going to be the second flap in from this little teeny flap here. So now what I did is peel this off, peel off my tear and tape, fold that in, and then this will close right on top. Open that back up and peel the tear and tape piece off of here. And I'm going to fold my two edges in, then I'm going to fold this one and then the piece with the tear and tape comes across and then I kind of just push down a little bit so now my box is, um, my bottom is kind of nice and my bottom is, is uh, taken care of, it's not gonna open up. So now I can see where my back is because that's the little fold. So I want this to be the front of my box, this will be the back. Make sure you put your little treat in and use them one of these Lindor, Lindor truffles, lint truffles. Um, they work just perfect. So stick that little guy in there. Now you're gonna kind of hold your fingers at the back and the front and just push, I'm gonna make sure that little cellophane is down. Push it in and close it. Okay, so it'll kind of look like a little tiny milk carton. So there we go. And I'm gonna take a little mini stapler. Now Stampin' Up! used to have a little one. I don't have it anymore, so I've just got this little mini stapler that helps keep it closed. And I took some of our tinsel trim, and I'm just gonna tie a little bow here. That's just gonna cover up the staple that I just put in. Okay, so I got a little bow there. Um, oh, I don't have a glue dot. I would have a, I would put that on with a glue dot right over top of where that staple is so you wouldn't see that. Then I took the Sure Do Love You stamp set and I'm gonna use this little Be Mine heart right here. So I just have some scrap paper. 
And I'm gonna use Rich Razzleberry ink. I'm gonna stamp that guy right there. And then there is a die cut for um, this heart in with this bundle. So we do have a uh, lo lots of love notes, I think. Anyway, the bundle with this one has these little cutouts for the heart. But let me just show you real quick. It also has a cutout to do, whoops, this little heart box, which is absolutely adorable. So I'm going to do a video on this one as well. But that comes, um, those are the, that's, oh my gosh, I can't talk today. It's Monday. This is the die cuts that coordinate with that particular stamp set. And this is actually made for our little, oh my goodness, what are they called? Long, long narrow, narrow note cards. They would fit right in there. So that would be a great gift for somebody who can fit some candy in there. Some little Dove chocolates would fit in there. Um, a gift card, anything you want to put in there in that super cute box. So that was a little side note for you. So anyway, I just took this die, a little heart die, and I went ahead and cut him out with the big shot and again I don't have glue dots but I would stick that right on the front there with a little glue dot and then I would put my little ribbon on there and this is what you end up with is these teeny tiny little milk carton treats aren't they adorable so anyway thanks for dropping by you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you next week for movie Monday